subscribe for my channel Amol Ujagre and hit the bell icon for latest update. Hello friends, my name is Amul Ujagre and you are watching me on my YouTube channel and today we are going to see how data provider works. So here in front of us I have created a test, right? So before that uh, I have set the Selenium project libraries and all that. So let's see this test. This test is simply about opening a browser, then I am just maximizing the window, right? Then next, I am opening a URL, it is a login page, then I am setting a login username, password and clicking on login button. So this is the page you can see, right? So I am just going to run this test with the help of data provider. Now let's see what we need in a data provider, right? So for that, in front of test, you should write data provider is equal to say get data get data is the name of the data provider function right so inside this login test we should pass the parameters so number of parameters should be exactly the number of inputs so here username and password there are only two inputs so i am passing these two inputs username and password right so now i am writing a function having a written type two dimensional object array <coughs> public object get data so let's start writing the function uh, object data is equal to new object 4 by 2 4 number of records and 2 number of inputs so return data so I'll just start writing or filling this two dimensional array so data of 0 0 amol that is username data of 0 1 say amol 1 2 3 password so let's write the next record uh, the second record I'll write as data of uh, 1 0 right and 1 1 I'm writing some other username and password <coughs> and subsequently I'm filling the array right so there should be four records as I've defined object array of size 4 by 2 so 4 is number of records that will be used that will be sent as an input so I am sending 4 inputs right 1 2 3 4 <coughs> right you should write data provider above the function name at the rate data provider this annotation so let's run this program <coughs> you can see right so the window is open maximized login page is open first username password next window is open maximized second username password now the third one and the fourth one so in this way right so <coughs> let's uh, open or create another java class here uh, we will write a code for um, doing the same thing using excel sheet so i'm copying this program and pasting into this new program right so we will create a folder named data and we will save uh, an excel sheet here so i'm opening a, an excel sheet so by the time it gets open i'll copy the path <coughs> of the data folder so that in order to save this file save as <coughs> I'll paste that address right and will give a name say my data you should select Excel 97 2003 in order that um, we should get extension at dot XLS save it so just put some data into this Excel sheet username password username password right this is username password right so as I've said, uh, saved this, uh, this is sheet one. Remember, remember this, this is sheet one, right? So as I've saved this, you can see dot um, XLS is the file uh, extension. So first we will see how uh, a file having this kind of extension can be used as an input. 
then we will see about the file name having extension xlsx now go to the google and find poi library right so we need to download poi library from the apache website so here there is download link fine so i'm downloading it <coughs> so it is downloaded extract it all the jar files having prefix as poi i'm copying it into my lib folder <coughs> paste it here right now we will write a code to uh, read the file right so file input stream file input stream is equal to new file input stream just put uh, the file path it is throwing an exception handle it now the file will be read and it will be converted into binary now next thing is hssf workbook workbook is equal to new workbook file input stream so uh, the binary file is converted into workbook then find the sheet that is sheet 1 hssf sheet worksheet is equal to workbook dot get sheet sheet fine now let's see how many active rows are present in the excel sheet right so <coughs> for that we have another function to count the number of active rows that is integer row count is equal to worksheet dot get physical number of rows we should pass this so we should pass this number into the two dimensional object array uh, here right so object data is equal to new object and instead of this four we will copy this row count and paste it here right row count now uh, we will have a for loop it should run for row counts time so integer i is equal to 0 i is less than row count i plus plus here we will write hssf row is equal to worksheet dot get row of i hssf username is equal to row dot get cell of 0 data of i 0 is equal to username dot get string cell value and similarly we will write for password hssf password is equal to row dot get cell here 1 column is 1 so data of i1 is equal to password dot get password dot get string cell value fine so one by one it will take these values now let's run this program as we can see as and when the program is run browser is opened website is opened then the first input is taken second input is taken third input is taken and fourth now I'm making one of the data blank and now I'm running the program so we can see the test is ignored so how to handle this so it can be handled in two ways uh, either you should write if username is equal equal to null then data of i0 is blank else the other part then similarly for password if password is equal equal to null then data of i comma 1 is this one this can be handled in an another way since sometimes if we assign username equal equal to null then it can throw an exception so better we will handle it using a try catch so try data of i0 username dot get string and catch exception data of i0 is equal to blank similarly you can do it for password and now let's run this program so this blank input is now handled now we can see the program is running right so we'll stop this program now i'm putting one of the value as number now let's run this program what happens I'm removing this comment again there is an null pointer exception 
so in order to handle this number we need to do something else so after that in this else part we should write username dot set cell type cell type dot string right so it will convert that cell type into string whatever may be the cell type of that particular cell is so similarly we will do it for password password dot set cell type cell type dot string now if you run this program it will run comfortably right so fine in this way we have handled both the essential cases that is blank and the number right so in this way you can handle the xls file now let's see how to use xls x file right let's stop this program i have this file xls x right with me so for that there is only simple change wherever there were there was h that is hssf uh, i have written x right xssf everywhere right and one more small change uh, i need to add some more libraries right so from this poi library add these libraries to there were two more folders right so add these libraries to these jar files into your lib folder right and now if you run this program it will run comfortably fine this is the excel sheet we are running this program it is running comfortably fine so this was all about the data provider with the help of excel sheet both the types we have seen xlsx and xls fine so at the end i will explain few terminologies that is poi fs it is nothing but a poor obfuscation implementation file system that is this component is the basic factor of all poi elements it is used to read the different files explicitly then hss is a horrible spreadsheet format it is used to read and write excel format of ms excel file then xssf it is xml spreadsheet format it is used for xls x file format of ms excel so this was my attempt to give you a small information that will be useful in your selenium practice so if you like this video please do hit the like button and if you have still not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and also click the bell button nearby it if you want to learn selenium with me you can come to my place and learn selenium with me you can call on this number right now and check for the schedule of the selenium training thank you